picture, picture right, right now. now. All right, All right. done. That sucks, right? 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 I, I spent two hours on the face. face. No, guess how you care to put me nice, and then you gotta go and make the nine perfect measure, measure, width by width, height by height, and everything, right? And then come the hard part where you gotta actually put that character in the little square box. Like, that's the tricky part about it. I can get the hands, hands right, right. and when, and when I, I compared my, my art to this other artist I found online who's younger than, than me, it, it makes me want to curb stomp this monstrosity so no one ever has to look at it again. Okay, okay now, think, think of a joke. joke. Not, Not one you've already heard, heard before. before. I, I want you to think, think up a brand new, never been done before joke. okay. You talking about a joke where the flash only run halfway around your mama before your mama shout him? Start a baseball or a meatball and try to eat it. Or your mom was so stupid that she tried to get in the script club with a school library card and still couldn't get in. Or your mom was so ugly that it even made Daniel unsnap his own self, self and kill himself. Hey, okay. You know, you know how, how cats, cats are, are like lazy? lazy? Yeah. Maybe, Maybe we yeah, could do a yeah, joke right. about a lazy cat and, and his owner is like, Ah, stop, stop being, being so lazy! That, that sucked too! Now, now imagine, imagine doing both, both of those things right, together the and part. then putting that artwork up for the entire world to leave their unfiltered, unfiltered anonymous opinions. opinions. And, and on top it? of that, you also make virtually no money off of it. Who in their right mind would put themselves through that kind of torture? Well, well dear, dear viewer, I wouldn't put myself through that torture. Like, the hard part is, you gotta just sit there for days dropping down each detail and everything, and then you gotta go and put that on that art that you made. You gotta put it on the computer. You gotta put like, you gotta, like, it's it not, it not easy. I would, I would like, like you, you all, all to meet Zachary. Zachary, Zachary is, is a web comic artist. artist. He, he makes web comics just so when you're scrolling through your timeline while taking your morning poo, you, you get a little chuckle to yourself. yourself. <laughs> and, then and then you keep, keep on scrolling, forgetting, forgetting about his existence entirely in mere seconds. seconds. I have, I have a soft spot for funny web comics. comics. Not the super serious superhero ones or the Japanese ones. ones. Wait, Wait, why is this part all pixely? Web comics can be shared on any platform. In fact, a lot of web comics get reposted without the artist's consent and with their names removed. Which is kind of weird that someone went through the effort of removing a watermark when they could have just you know, you know, not, not done, done anything, anything and left it. it. I, I hope, hope you all realize that behind every comic is an artist who just wanted to make you laugh and doodle something that day. I started reading web comics at a very young age. Back then, we just called them comics. They were really the only books that I liked to read. And the only place you could read the hottest new comics was in the newspaper. Oh, sorry, I should clarify. A newspaper is a stack of gray paper that would be delivered to your house by a child riding a bike, and they would print 19 pages of useless information and have one page dedicated to the funnies. <laughs> this is where the classics were born. You know the ones. The Calvin and Hobbes. The Garfields. The, the Far Sides. Some of these comics have made me laugh harder than any meme ever has. I just want to say that Calvin and Hobbes was an extremely creative comic. It was a comic about a rambunctious boy that had a giant predatory animal best friend. I mean, where else have you seen that before? By the way, if you ever see those Calvin peeing bumper stickers, those are unlicensed knockoffs and really go against everything Calvin and his creator Bill Watterson stood for. In, In fact, fact, all Calvin, Calvin and Hobbes merchandise, merchandise is unlicensed because Bill Watterson never made merchandise. merchandise. But, but I mean, aren't these crochet, crochet Hobbes dolls the coolest? So there was only enough space in the paper for about 20 comics. And last time I counted, there were way more than 20 comic creators. So if you wanted to get your silly little comic in the news paper, you had some fierce competition. But now, anyone with a computer and enough dedication can create comics that get shared by millions of people. You don't even need a fancy drawing tablet or expensive painting software or even art skills in general. Web comics and the internet and memes have been intertwined for decades. Many of your favorite meme formats are just edited web comics. Now, in most cases, if someone took an artist's work, defaced it, and then re-uploaded it without credit, that'd be a bad thing. 
The yeah, memes are different, I guess. The, the reason, reason I'm bringing this up is because, because I want... You can defeat uh, our work and, and not give credit to them. No matter, no matter what you do to it, you can always gotta give the artist credit. Don't just not give credit to the artist. Cause then you might be a felony. Then you might end up going to jail. Then you might get locked up. Yeah. You you know the rest. You know already know the rest. You, you all to know, know that, that these, these artists, artists have made, made other comics, comics that are just as funny, and you, and you should, should support their work and buy their books. And, and, some, some and if you're going to make a web comic edit, it, please, please just keep in the watermark. It's, it's literally more work to take it out. You're being an asshole. Some of you original gangsters may remember that I also used to be a web comic artist. I posted, I posted my, my first webcomic in 2012, which was over 10 years. 10 years? 10 years? It's been that long? What the fuck? I'll be honest. My webcomics took a little while to get some traction. Let me explain something. All the comics I would read in the newspaper had distinguished characters with personalities. A lot of times, the punchline of a newspaper comic would only be funny because we knew the characters and their mannerisms. Garfield hates Mondays, so instead of him hating Friday the 13th, he hates Monday the 13th. That's a good one, Garfield. So I try to make a webcomic like that with my own little universe. I'm gonna be a little vulnerable for a minute, Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about my OCs, OCs I made when I was a 16-year-old boy. There, there were three main brothers. brothers. Jake, who was a self-insert character. One, one time I dressed up as him for Halloween. Halloween. Justin, the, the book-smart book straight man. man. Straight, straight man, man as in the character archetype, not the sexuality. Although, Although if any of the brothers were gay, Justin would be the gay one. And what? Kevin, the laid-back older brother who did whatever he wanted because he's the oldest. Those three were the main boys. Jake, Jake, Justin, Justin and Kevin, Kevin. The, the three whitest names anyone's ever heard. Now, now if you're an up-and-coming up -and comedy webcomic web artist, I would suggest to not to do what, what I did. If you're, if you're just trying to make someone laugh, laugh you, you don't need a whole cast of characters that have intricate relationships. relationships. Just, just tell your joke and leave. Or don't. It's your art. You can do whatever you want. Eventually, I wanted to rebrand myself. Instead of having distinguished, defined characters, I went with the very basic-looking character design that had absolutely no distinguishing features at all. And I settled on a design that looked like this. I mean, over time, I refined it. I originally posted my comics exclusively to Tumblr. It was just me and this other obscure webcomic about trolls. We were the two main ones, really. Now, now, if, if you're, you're still an up-and-coming up webcomic comic artist, artist, then you should post your comics to every platform imaginable. I learned the importance of cross-platform promotion the not-so-easy way. One day, I got a Tumblr message from someone asking if they could post my comics to a small, unknown app called iFunny. And I said, Drop down in the comment and tell me, what is iFunny? What is iFunny? I have no clue what iFunny is. I don't know what iFunny is. I know, I know what American, American funny is, Instagram, um, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok, but I don't know enough about the iPhone. Sure. sure. Then, then that, that guy, guy would periodically send me messages like, dude, we, we are, are blowing, blowing up. up. Our, Our comics, comics keep getting featured. featured. And I was like, our? Then, then I, I wake up to messages asking, hey, are you the one posting these to iFunny? And I said, no, but I gave the other guy permission to. You know he's impersonating you and starting beef with other artists, right? Hmm? It turned out that iFunny was my most popular social media account, and I didn't even have access to it. I eventually got the account back, and now people tell me that they loved reading my comics on iFunny back in the day. Which wasn't, wasn't even, even part, part of the plan, plan originally. originally. Yeah, Webcomics have really, really impacted me and this channel. Some, Some of my earliest online, online friends were other webcomic web artists who I don't keep in touch with as much as I should. My, my bad, bad guys, guys, I'm sorry. My username, username is based off my webcomic, my, my character design was made for my webcomic, and, and even my cannonball profile picture is from a panel in my webcomic. I really oh. hope this video makes you appreciate the webcomics that you see on your timeline. I know you see them, they're everywhere.
If you, if you come, come across, across a comic, comic you like, I want, I want you to try and find, find the original artist's socials and browse their other comics they've created. I guarantee you'll find some banger comics that just didn't get the same amount of attention as the other ones. And who knows, you might just make a difference in someone's art career. You know, making a whole video about webcomics has made me miss my first love. A lot of times when I think of a joke, I have to wait two months to tell it. And at that point, I don't even know if it's funny anymore. But a webcomic can have same-day joke delivery. So this is how I'm officially announcing that I'm making webcomics again. I'll be posting them on my website and maybe Twitter if I'm still verified. There's already six brand new comics. Feel free to make any meme edits of them. I